John Kiley has been reappointed for two more years as the Limerick manager and that's pretty much just bad news for the rest of the country. I think Limerick fans would be delighted with that because he took them from a team that could win monster titles but very much nearly men after that um, to All-Ireland champions, to league champions and monster champions all doing it with great style, uh, very tactically aware. And now maybe teams have to some degree gotten a lot of footage where they can study what they're doing and now think how we can counteract them and I think that's something that that uh, Kilkenny did quite good in the All-Ireland semi-final. Uh, in, in his first season in 2017, I have to say I wasn't overly impressed. But then again, you have to give a manager time to get his feet under the table. They had a really, um, they had a really good season in 2018, obviously winning the All-Ireland title. But in the league, they'd gotten all the way to the... To the um, well, they'd got promoted, first of all. Then they got all the way to the semi-final and only lost to Tipperary after extra time in Thurles. And I remember it was... Tipperary had gotten a, an important score, then goalkeeper hit a puck out straight to a Tipperary man goal. But you know, they went on to be tip in the championship, ultimately had one bad performance in the 2018 championship, and that was a sort of a dead rubber game against Clare. Other than that, brilliant. In 2019, dominated throughout the like the important parts of the league, dominated, um, wiped the floor with a lot of teams in Munster. I know they lost to Tipperary in that, um, in that last group game, but if we're being honest, Tipperary... Um, we're taking that far more seriously than Limerick if you look at how the, the teams were named um, other than that the Kilkenny game cost them but it's not as if it was a complete non-performance yes it was a flat start maybe they weren't fully ready for what Kilkenny were bringing to the table but it's not as if they you know that they were an, it was a non-performance uh, a decision cost them at the end when they should have got a sideline or sorry 65 and therefore a chance to equalise the game that was on the back of the Darrow Donovan sideline but other than that, they've been unbelievably consistent for a couple of years, and that's what everyone else is, is, is going to be concerned about. Paul Canuck will continue as coach selector, and Alan Cunningham and Angus O'Brien, they're going to stay there. The huge loss that uh, we haven't talked about in our game, yes, is, um, is Joe O'Connor as SNC. He's going to be replaced by Mikey Kiley, who's kind of a disciple of his. The question that remains to be seen is, just because you've worked under a guy, does that mean you're going to be as good as a guy? And the obvious reference that's all that's always um, there is Alex Ferguson had a million and one managers come after him, but how many have been as good? So just because you work under someone, that doesn't mean you'll be as good as them. But uh, Kylie has been involved with, uh, Mikey Kylie that is, has been involved with the under-21s and the senior team in the past. So it's, it's not like he's a complete novice or anything, anything like that. But at the same time, Joe O'Connor has been talked about even when he was involved with Clare. And I spoke with uh, Clare's Colin uh, Ryan, who was the who was on the team that year, and he just said he was such a huge loss, Joe O'Connor, when he left. So, you, like all these little things, and teams talk about marginal gains, losing somebody like Joe O'Connor, that is huge, and we'll only know in 2020 if it has an impact.